Hey guys, so I just want to do a video on Li Zhao Gong, um, who is has a PB of twenty fifty eight, multiple times over twenty thirty. Um, this is her, I think, at the Asian Games or something. I I don't know where. I guess maybe it said in the title. Okay, it's cut off. Whatever. Um, she is the Tokyo champion olympic champion uh two or three time world champ i know she's definitely a two time world champion uh eight time medalist at um the world slash olympics um which is insane has been consistent um and really like if she just didn't run into valerie adams who is in my opinion the goat at least a female shot put um still an argument between her and Krauser, honestly, of the GOAT shot putter in general. Uh, I know people might not think it's close, but Valley on Adams got a case. But this isn't about her. This is about Gong. If it wasn't for Valerie Adams, good lord, Gong would be... The medal she would have won would be insane. Um, But overall, I love her technique. Her, her finish... Aww is so immaculate oh my god I, I love her technique i love her finish but really like her finish if you want to know the definition of power oh my god there's nothing like a glide finish right there like look at that look at that finish like people just do not release a shot like that like that it's it's insane to me so she's five nine like two 238 pounds so like shh She's like, she's big, and she can move. Like she's not very tall, um, but she more than makes up for it with just being so explosive and moving so well and being so technically proficient. To be as consistent as her, which again, uh, glide you can be a lot more consistent, and if you have the power to throw over twenty meters as a glider, I mean. I would say go ahead, honestly, because the glide, in my opinion, is way more consistent. And this is more for women, because I think women are more adept at the glide than men in general, especially nowadays. Um, you still see a lot of really good women um, doing the glide and having success. So, uh, yeah. And until a spinner starts throwing over 21, I don't know. Like, the glide will still be there for the woman, I think. Um, but, yeah, so let's just get into it. Um, so, uh, for this kind of video, unlike my underrated thrower series, because I don't think she's underrated at all, at least I hope not, um, I'm not going to list her accomplishments and all that. One, because I'm just going to run out of room in the description box, because she just has so many medals, it's ridiculous. Um... I didn't even, like, touch on all the silver and bronzes that she has at, like, Worlds and Olympics. And she's been around forever. Like, she... Gosh, she is so crazy. Um, just her consistency, her metal one. Honestly, I feel like a good comparison for her is, like, Gerd Cantor. Who, like, she... He never had the world record. Uh, but he had, like, 16 medals at major competitions. Um, and, like... Like, um, Gong is honestly pretty kind of similar in that aspect they're just so consistent at major championships has won an olympics has won a world she's he, she's actually won more world championships than um good cancer but um yeah but i i think that's a good like comparison in terms of the level of thrower she is like she and good cancer is my favorite thrower of all time so that is high praise for me not that that means anything really but um, like, to give you context and how highly regard, high, uh, high regard I hold her, like, good lord, she is so good. Okay, but let's, let's get into the technique. Alright, so, all, as you can see from the series, already a crazy series. 1990, 1985, 1981, 20, 18, 20, 30, and I think this though is 2039. So, shoot, she... she she is consistent so let's get into this so puts the shot in the neck 
as you can see, a super, so not a super on her back, but a super relaxed back. So she's not arching her back. I try to get a side view because I don't like analyzing gliders um, from the back because you can't really see that much. Um, I prefer the side view for gliders. Um, but we'll get, we'll take what we can get. But she does have a, a pretty re relaxed, rounded back. Which I really like because I think it's easier for a glider to stay down and not just pop straight up. So I like that. Now again, you don't want to be too relaxed. But uh, you do want to... I don't like the arch back glide. I don't like that at all. I, I think it makes you move super awkwardly. Um, and it, you have more of a tendency to pop up and lose positions. So I think rounding the back is very nice. So she gets here keeps this left arm kind of in and kind of curved so she's i love her throw because she's so relaxed during it and then at the finish she just boom but she's so rhythmic and dynamic with her throw um and i really love that for gliders so so she gets here she goes down and i know you can't see this because uh her body's covering it but her hips are still stacked so you want to think about the glide is when you break at the hip, you're not just sticking your butt out when you go that back. You're doing more like an RDL. So you still have that tension in your hip flexors and uh, in your hip as well and your glutes because you don't want to lose tension there. If you lose tension there, then you're not going to have any power. All right. So that's an important thing. So you don't, don't want to break at the hips when you go down. So she does an excellent job of not doing that. So it gets here, and you see this little, so she goes down, and a lot of gliders will be here and have more of like a rhythmic thing, so like uh, David Stroll, uh, Ulf Terminman, um, you know, like they'll go down and then kind of like pull this uh, right leg a little in and then back. Just to get a little more momentum, a little establish a little rhythm. And it's a lot easier to kick that right foot. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, I mean left foot. Um, but there's also the other style, which Gong does, where she goes down super relaxed and then just goes for it. So going down is that kind of rhythmic swing. So you notice that when she when she's going down in her upper body... She does bring that right leg kind of in. So it's she does do that little that uh, right there. It's hard to see. But she does kind of bring her right foot a little in. So it's more of a stylistic thing. It's not wrong or right, but I really like it. Um, again, that's like a personal preference thing. Um, but yeah, so I really like that. And again, super relaxed back. But not, not floppy. She's not floppy. She's still stable. And she's still powerful like this. Alright. So she gets here. And I know I say. Oh you need to have that straight line. But driving. Sorry not straight line. But like not popping up. She's not popping up. I know it looks like it. But that's because it's just physically impossible. To actually drive with your right leg. Out the back. And not like pop up a little. All right, that's like fit. That that's honestly physically impossible, um, and honestly, it's kind of not really what you want because she's still really low. So when I say popping up, it would be like if I could see her if her chest was like here, and she was just straight up in the air, and like she just landed, and she was just standing like straight up, basically, like she was just standing in line at the theater or something. Um, that's kind of a weird example, but you get, I hope you get what I'm trying to say. Um, it's hard to show you when she's not doing that, but yeah, I think you guys get it. So she gets here, really extends, and you know, she's pushing off this heel. She actually pushes kind of flat footed. Um, but again, you either want to push flat footed. I prefer the heel. But again, Gong is such a powerhouse. It's, it honestly does not even matter, honestly. Um, 
Like, when you're this much of a powerhouse, like, you can get away with some stuff. All right, so... And again, it's also a woman shop, but again, in all the women's events, really, except maybe Javelin, uh, you can get... A, for a woman, you can get away with a lot of stuff compared to men, but that's a whole different topic for a whole different video. Um, but most men, when they glide, they drive off the heel. And she kind of does. It's not as obvious... But the most important thing is she's not going off the ball of the foot. Because if you push off the ball of the foot, you're going to just jump up in the air. All right. And you're just going to stand straight up and you're going to pop up. So the two things you really want to avoid in the glide. One is having that arch back and having a super tense back. Uh, when, when you go out, when you uh, are setting up out the back and the, uh, out of the back of the ring. And then the, the second most important thing you want to avoid uh, is driving off the ball of the foot instead of the heel. Um, because both those will result in you losing tension or having too much tension and you won't get a stretch reflex. And it will be very hard to move and it will be very hard to be rhythmic and it will make you stand up and so you'll throw super flat and you won't get that angle and that really nice stand throw. All right. So those are those are two very important things that she does not do. And that's why she throws far. All right, and two things to and those are two things to really avoid because those right off the bat will kill your distance in the glide. All right? So keep that in mind. So she gets here, drives really nice. So with her left arm, she keeps it she kind of keeps it a little bent here. So she kind of bends it a little and then lengthens it back out. So I think she does that for a couple reasons. One, it might just be a natural reflex thing that she just doesn't think of. Um, but I highly doubt that because she lengthen, lengthens it again. So I think, honestly, I don't know. A lot of gliders, I don't, I don't feel do that. A lot of gliders either just honestly just keep that left arm long. So it might just be a natural little quirk that she does. Um, I'm not that versed in the glide to speak on like that kind of technic technical stuff. Um, but again, she lengthens it again. So it doesn't even really matter. It, I'm not even saying it's wrong. It's just interesting. Again, I've never really actually broke down uh gong's throw like to this kind of level um but yeah i i've never noticed that actually because she just moves so fast like i honestly can't see <laughs> unless i break it down like this but yeah i wonder why she does that actually that's actually a good question maybe someone can let me know in the comments why they think or maybe they know um but yeah so but, again, she lengthens it, so maybe it, it honestly might just be a little quirk she does. Because maybe it's just something that just works for her. Um, so she gets here. So lands. God, I didn't mean to go back there. There we go. So lands super nice here. So I really like this. Um, the couple things I would say is I would like a little higher right heel here. Um, and for her shoulder to be a little more back. Uh, but th this isn't a bad position. Um, I do think she needs to have a little more weight on this right. She looks like a wide stance glider, I think. It's hard to tell. Um, but that's actually, if she is, it's very weird because she's only 5'9". Um, but I really like this finish. So, she gets here. Le so, she has weight over her left foot here. All right, so really nice. And then from here, she smacks the living crap out of the shot put. So you'll notice a big difference between this kind of release and a rotational release is that if a rotator did this, this would be a very, very bad release if a rotational shot putter did this. I mean with the lower body. Um, because, you know, she's not really working the ground at all. But in the glide, especially the woman's glide, you do not want that that long ground contact you want to stay long on the shot put but that long ground talk contacts 
um, and actually turning your right foot is just going to slow you down. And that is not what you want to do in the glide because you do not have that rotational momentum to make it um, to make it beneficial for you to actually rotate that right foot. Whereas in the spin, you have that rotational or angular, angular momentum so you can turn the right foot really fast in the full. You can't do that in the glide. So what, what gliders do is very rarely will you see any good glider actually kind of turn their foot like a Ryan Krauser or a Fabry. So what they do is their sole purpose right now is to get lift and they get over this block as quick as possible. All right, so they get here. And you see how she gets super over this block. And she is kind of tilted here. A lot of gliders do this tilt because they're not rotating. So they kind of do this tilt, one, to get a lot more lift and a lot more out. So it's almost kind of like a jab um, kind of release. Where they're not really turning. They more just try and get push to get over the block. So there's a lot of similarities here. And they have this slight tilt in their shoulders for javelin and the glide shot put right here to get more of that angle because they do not have that rotational speed. So, and you notice that the left arm is really closed in because that helps you get linear and helps you get a lot tighter of a finish, which you want in, in uh, the glide. All right, so she gets here and then you can tell that she just sticks it and recovers. So it's a really beautiful, beautiful. And again, I'm not like, just cause you're not turning this right foot does not mean you don't turn the right hip. Like she's turning the right hip and she has a fantastic block. So I, I know she's tilted and but in the context of a glider, most gliders finish like this. Uh, very rarely will you see a glider with level shoulders at the finish. Most are diagonal. Now, you don't want to be like crazy diagonal, but you want to be more like this. So, I mean, if you have like doubts about it, like honestly, there are really big similarities between the glide shot put and the javelin in terms of the release mechanics. Um, and that's because they're the two linear events in the throwing events. They're the only two. So there's some similarities there because the physics kind of work a little similar. And a lot of stuff. Obviously, the delivery is completely different for the shot put in terms of the right arm and the javelin. I mean, obviously, because, you know, you don't put the javelin on your neck and stuff. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of similarities in what the left side does and what the right leg does. And uh, you, and she's a perfect example of this. So, she's doing... She, she, God, her finish is... I just, I just, you, you guys just need to watch this again. Like, her finish is insane. And by the way, there's nothing more satisfying than seeing that chalk plume right there. Oh, my God. It's so, it's, I love seeing that. It looks like the residue from, like, a cannon blast. Oh, it's awesome. But, yeah. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if there's any other videos uh, or throwers you want me to analyze. And yeah, um, thanks for all for watching. Hope you all had a good day and uh, hope to see you guys next time in another video. Thanks for watching and hope you guys learned a lot and see you all later.